Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Spoonie Pizzas here with another Pro Evolution Soccer 2020 video. Welcome to a two-part series of a finesse dribbling tutorial. So this is the first part of the, this series. And as you can see here, Lionel Messi using that finesse dribbling in combination with sprinting to score an absolutely glorious goal. And here it is from a different angle. It's just drawing players in using that finesse dribbling, applying the sprint, and then smashing it in off the post. So to use finesse dribbling, all you need to do is release your left analog stick and use your right analog stick to move your player. So you can see in the bottom right corner is my controller. This is actually a live input. So we will be slowing this down in the video in just a little bit. So don't worry about trying to uh, Follow all the movements. You can slow it down using YouTube. But basically, uh, yeah, it's just using the right log stick. And that will guide and drag. Your player will drag and sort of shift the ball with very small movements. And here you can see Jordi Albert just move it side to side. And then he'll skip past his player. Pretty, pretty easy. And this was on superstar difficulty. So it's not exactly hard to use. So this is what you're going to be seeing in a, you know, when you're looking um, down on the pitch, quite close up to the player. Skips past one. And then he just sort of drags it back before releasing the pass. So I'm just going to capture this in slow motion for you guys so you can see what actions I'm using on the gamepad. It makes it easier to see what's happening on the actual pitch. Like I said, this gamepad is a live input, so what you're seeing is what you're getting, basically. So we'll see the uh, right analog stick being pushed in that right side direction, so he's uh, dragging the ball back. Now we know how to do the finesse dribbling. I want to show you a few key areas to use the finesse dribbling. So one of the areas is when you play it into your striker, and what you want to try and do is drag that defender out. Unfortunately, he doesn't follow me and the defensive midfielder comes back in, but that's fine. So I'm just going to use that finesse dribbling again, just to drag the ball back, evade the two defenders, and get a shot off. This is what I was trying to do the first time, just drag the defender out, allowing for a 1-2 and to play into that space. But unfortunately, the defender gets back in and makes the tackle, which is really good. But that, you can see what I was trying to do there. Now I'm going to show you some tricks from a stationary position using the finesse dribbling like you're seeing in this clip here. So the first thing you need to know how to do is how to stop your player. So you just need to hold the R1 and R2 or right bumper and right trigger on your controller. This will bring your player to a complete stop as you can see here before I shift it and evade his lunging tackle. In this next clip I'm going to be using R1 and R2, right bumper and right trigger and use the right analog stick to produce a reverse step over. In this next clip, this is going to be very difficult to perform because it does depend on where the ball is in relation to the player, which you're going to learn with experience, but it does require a very subtle touch of the left stick. You can see this definitely gets a reaction out of the defenders, as you can see in these clips here, as they back off. And this is a slow down version, so just hold the right bumper, right trigger, R1 and R2, and then flick the left analog stick very very quickly but very very subtly not f all the way across it's just a very very quick flick and again in this example just hold R1 R2 and then like I say this is slowed down to a tenth of the speed so you have to think how fast that is actually moving how fast I'm moving that left stick anyway that's all for me ladies and gents I hope you enjoyed the video I hope you found it useful Please let me know any thoughts in the comments and don't forget there is going to be a part two to this finesse dribbling so be sure to stay tuned and check that out. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.